Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about Udemy and courses. So let's get into it. So the question in question here was, Frederick, sometime in the future I would love to have your opinions on some of the courses for different boot camps such as Udemy. And I was just wondering if you think that it's better for me to learn React by reading their documentation or should I take a bootcamp? So the short answer is I think that you should either take a bootcamp or at the very least find a free course or something like that on YouTube or so forth where someone shows you the, shows you the basics. Now, the reason why I argue this is because look, I, this is just me saying what I believe to be true. It's usually easier for people who want to learn a concept or a topic or something like that to, to get an introduction first, which is scoped to like, like a rough idea of how to do the basics of something. It's, it's hard to explain, but if you are alone and you're just kind of searching around for information, odds are that you may, I mean, you're still going to look at some blog posts, you're still going to learn from articles and so forth, and maybe that's fine. And you I mean, nothing's really stating that you can't do it the other way, that you can't just read the documentation or l learn from tutorials or blogs or something like that. You can do that as well. It's just that if you can find someone who has taken the time to kind of show you the ropes, then with the intention of teaching you the basics, that's probably the best way. I'm not saying that you have to take a boot camp to do that, because technically it's very unlikely that the boot camp is going to include something that you can't find on your own. It's I, honest to God, it's really, it's very unlikely. I don't. I can't imagine anything, and this is kind of why I find it so weird sometimes that there are some boot camps that are completely free, and then there are some boot camps that are like outlandishly priced for the same topic. I mean, what are they teaching you? There's not, unless the quality of the materials that they are making, like the actual quality of the content, is like vastly higher. There's not really much that you can, in my world, say to justify like a really high price for a boot camp because the, the, at the end of the day, it's still the same information. Like you're, no matter how amazing a teacher you are, you're not going to be able to teach somebody how to master something like React in, uh, even if you have the same amount of time. I mean, it's very unlikely rather that the student is going to be able to get the return on investment for a really, really pricey bootcamp. It might, might be a really great bootcamp, it's just that there are so many learning resources out there at an affordable price or, or basically free that is going to cover the same things. I mean, if you, you can pretty much spit in the air these days and find an article on how to get started with React or things of this nature. So what I suggest is that you basically just have to think about it, like how you want to approach your own learning. Do you want to have a prepared course that, well, then this is the problem, the other part of this, like, unfortunately, guys, I don't really, well, I suppose I could review courses at some point, but it's not really something that I'm doing these days. It's, and that makes it hard for me to say that you should go with a bootcamp at Udemy or you should go with just self-learning because I don't actually know what the course includes. I can, I mean, let's just assume that it's actually going to include all the things that are related to React in this case. Well, then you have to ask yourself that question is, someone who has like prepared and like really made a nice boot camp or something like that that's going to cover the entire topic is that the way you want to learn i mean there are other sites and then udemy if that it's too pricey there are many options like so, so if someone has sat down and really prepared all the content for you is that how you prefer learning is that something that you find simplifies your own learning or would you rather Go on, on go and go on like Google uh, how to get started with React or something like that, and read 
the whole thing yourself like or learn from some other person on YouTube and so forth guys it, it doesn't really matter it comes down to your personal preference and how you're gonna learn it's not really I mean the, the one thing I would say that it might be a benefit to learning through some I mean, like a, an established boot camp is that it gives you something to put on your CV you can put that under courses or or something like that then that's something that will give some substance substance to your CV but if it it's a more it's a weaker argument if you say that I learned React by myself or something like that because you can't really put that on paper. It's not a big deal, but it, especially in the beginning of things, may be something that you want to consider because the CV is usually a very important thing for someone who's just starting out as a software developer. So what I want you to take away from this is that it doesn't really matter if you go about it yourself when like, you be learning completely on your own or if you're using a boot camp or something like that because at the end of the day yeah there's nothing the boot camp is going to be able to cover you're not there's not like some secret tips that you're going to get from the boot camp it's just a more streamlined way of consuming the information and i like to say it that is pretty much have this analogy where I say that having an official education or a boot camp or some prepared thing right or with mentors and teachers and so forth is sort of trying to get into, is like trying to get into shape with a personal trainer going at it completely self-taught and like reading up yourself is more like working out by yourself it's more likely that you will get into shape if you're actually with the personal trainer and you can still achieve it by just having a lot of discipline on your own and like trying really going at it by yourself it's just more likely that it's going to work i mean if it didn't have any effect it would nobody would pay for it but that's the that's the thing about prepared education or education like it is usually it's usually worth having at least having a look at it's uh, not for everybody but it is definitely something to consider so I think that you should just ask yourself that. Am I the sort of person who would benefit from having a prepared course or do I th think that I can pretty much find all that information myself on the internet? Because trust me, it's out there. It, there, it, there is definitely nothing wrong with learning React by yourself without a boot camp or a, like a, something like that because the, the information, it's the same information. It's just how it's prepared. Have a great day.